welcome once again friends or should i say ministers of god uh, thank you for tuning in to this devotion uh, we're talking about serving god and serving him well uh, and today i want to draw attention to um uh, the the empowering you know that that we have in god which enables us to serve so we can serve in our own strength uh, or we can serve in the strength of god and what makes our service effective is the strength of god i'm calling it the strength of god but you know we know that uh, this has to do with the anointing of god or you know uh, the anointing of the holy spirit uh, or the empowering of god in our lives so when we serve uh, one of the best ways for us to serve is to serve through the empowering of god if we look at the life of jesus you know in um, acts 10:38 we read that he went about doing good uh, works and he was anointed by the holy spirit so how did jesus uh, go about doing his ministry his ministry uh, the earthly ministry that god gave him before he was crucified uh, he was empowered by the holy spirit he he did it faithfully in communion with the holy spirit and so that's the example um uh, that we see from jesus's life and the very first time when he went up to the uh um, you know the the synagogue and he read the scriptures even at that point you know jesus uh, spoke about how he has been anointed by the spirit to do the good works of god so uh i just want to encourage each one of us whatever task we have you know god has uh, an anointing or god has an empowering uh, that he is able to give us and he doesn't expect us to do it in our own ability but we can always depend on god uh, and that will yield the results of god you know uh, we know this very familiar um uh, line from from the word of god is not by power nor by might but by my spirit says the lord so let us be empowered by god's spirit the early church or the first century church is a wonderful example you know in in a matter of a couple of decades we see believers scattering throughout the region regions of judea uh, you know samaria and then it it kind of spreads across it spreads across uh, regions across nations across continents and you see believers doing the work that jesus told them to do the great commission but how did they do it they were empowered by the holy spirit according to acts 1:8 so he told them to wait for the baptism in the spirit and once they were baptized in the holy spirit you know we see uh, beginning with peter uh, making his first sermon you know the the work kind of kicks off and then you have so many people of god stepping out and uh, serving god uh, being evangelists being prophets um you know uh, even serving you know in in other ways in the in the local church but they were doing it through the empowering of the holy spirit and i just want to encourage us to depend on god uh, and to see the release of that anointing through our lives uh, and and we'll see that the work that we do for the kingdom it will be a fruitful work and a work that glorifies his name let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for the anointing of the holy spirit god which is upon each of us lord Uh, we pray that as we take steps of faith lord uh, to do what you're calling us to do father let that anointing increase upon our lives let the grace of god upon our lives increase and father i pray that there will be many hands on board lord in your kingdom serving you and bringing you much honor in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.